Hello and welcome to another brand new Pharmaca Pro 10.1 tutorial. This is the first of many tutorials covering some of the brand new features that have come out in the brand new update Pharmaca Pro 10.1. So in this first video we're going to be taking a look at the new architecture of organizing all of your events and projects which has fundamentally changed inside of Pharmaca Pro 10.1. So what I'm going to do is just talk you through the steps as I go ahead and create a new project, an event, and a library. Now these libraries are the new master folders that contain all of your events and all of your projects. In Final Cut Pro 10, all of your projects had to correspond to a particular event, which is still true of Final Cut Pro 10.1. However, they're all contained within one library folder, which is basically your project folder, essentially if you want to look at projects more as timelines, which they are. So let's go ahead and create a new library. Press File, New, Library. You can see it's going to give us um, a dialog box to enter in the name of this library. I'm going to call it Audition for Tutorials. I'm going to be using some footage from my new short film, Audition. And you can see here we can save this anywhere we want. Whereas before we had to save it, um, save an event in a, the Final Cut Events folder and a project in Final Cut Projects folder, we can now save it anywhere. So I'm going to create a new folder and call it Audition. I'm going to press Create. In here, we can create a new folder called Final Cut Project. And go ahead and press Save. And you can see it's already created us an event with the current date. So we can just go ahead and rename this event. We're going to call it Footage Day 1. In footage day one, we're going to import footage from the first day of filming. Go ahead and press import media. And then you can just go ahead and select the clips that you want. Press import selected. And it's going to give us a very familiar dialog box. We could choose to copy the files into the event, which I want to do. And we can also choose to transcode we also have video and audio options, which I've covered in previous tutorials, link in the description. We're going to add these to the existing event footage day one. Go ahead and press import. But we also want to add footage from day two. So let's go ahead and find our day two footage. Here's some footage from day two. We're going to select it and then choose import selected. And we're not going to add it to the existing event. We're going to create a new event. We're going to make sure we put it in the audition for tutorials library that we created. And we're going to call the event footage day two. So right from within the import window, we've created a second event and we now have two events. Whereas before you'd have to create keywords or a folder that said footage day one, footage day two, we can have separate events, which is sort of the point of events. It's the event of filming. So now that we've created two events with separate days of filming, we want to go ahead and create another event. And this event we're going to use for our projects. So let's choose File, New, Event. And can you see when we do this, by default, we've got Create New Project ticked. You may not have this ticked. It depends on whether you've used this feature before. You may just see this. This is basically allowing you to create a new event, and we're going to call it Projects. This is where we're going to store all our projects, such as trailers, uh, edits of the film, whether that's edit one, edit two, um, whether it's other promotional media behind the scenes, i.e. there's loads of different projects that may correspond to the same library and multiple events. So we're going to go ahead, call this event project, and we're also going to choose the option, option to create a new project. So in one swift move, we can create a new project. We can even use custom settings, which include new in Final Cut Pro, 10.1, we can choose custom resolution, which allows you to make really strange and obscure project resolutions, such as uh, for a portrait, phone viewing, and other such things. But we'll get into that in another tutorial. We're going to go ahead and choose 1080p, 25 frames a second. And we're going to press OK. It didn't give us an option to name our project, so we want to hop over into the projects event and we want to name this project. We're going to call it Audition Edit 1. Always name your edits numerically. If you start putting first edit, final edit, master edit, super edit, super definitely the last edit, it starts to become a battle of adjectives and it gets really hard to actually trace. 
your thought. So by numerically numbering your edits, it allows you to work out which one is most definitely the latest one. So now we've created a projects event, footage events, and we've also created a project. So now from the event library, we can grab some footage and we can throw it into our brand new project. Not only this, but let's say that we've finished with this project, we've finished creating all our different edits, we've, we're just completely done. We've already uploaded the film, we've sent it off, we've created DVDs, the project is done and dusted. So we want to archive. Whereas before you'd have to go into your Final Cut Pro projects folder, your event folder, find everything that correlated to that project. Now, if we just hop over to Finder and we go into the audition folder that we already had, you can see that we've got this library. We can actually open this library by choosing show package contents. And in here, we've got all our folders with our original media that we imported. It's basically like Final Cut is creating the Finder management system for you. So it's, it's really handy. And also, we can grab this at library and we can move that to an external hard drive when we're done with the project and we want our archive. So that is how the new libraries features works inside of Final Cut Pro 10.1. You can see there's definitely some huge advantages in having this master architecture for containing your projects, your actual Final Cut projects and your Final Cut events as well. So I'll see you in a brand new Final Cut Pro 10.1 tutorial. Don't forget to request tutorials down below as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.